welcome back and today we are going to be painting my valve cover for the 1JZ and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it not just paint it one single color but do an actual design for it so first things first this is actually already kind of has a nice rough texture which is pretty handy so that way I'm actually not going to sand it um, because I don't want to risk any scratch marks and it's it's rough enough so um, that'll work but we are going to clean it fairly thoroughly so go ahead and get some degreaser out and let's go ahead and wash this up Next thing up that you're going to want to do is you want to set it out to be painted. I have it set up right there on a stand. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit it with two or three coats of just a primer just to get the base. So we're going to be doing a custom uh, brush paint job over top with the design that we're going for. But before we do that, we want to get the back coat of what we want it to be. If you want it to be that gray, then you can leave and skip right to it. But for me, um, I'm going to want a black background, so I'm going to go hit it with some primer, hit it with some black, and then we'll meet up back inside and I'll show you guys how to do that custom design. Alright guys, so we have everything we're going to need to do the actual design part now. This part is going to be fairly tricky, um, especially if you're not really artistically inclined, which I'm kind of sorry if that, that's you, but hey, make the best out of it and see what you can do. But here's what we're going to be doing. So I have my valve cover here, and this is the design I want. Um, I keep with the Spider-Man theme because black and red, and I think it looks good, and also my car was blue and red before, so it just kind of matches right along. Anyway, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be drawing this out here on pencil lightly. So the reason you're doing it with pencil is because pencil can erase. Um, it may not erase perfectly, but it's a lot easier um, just to see where you're going first. Plus you can do thin lines before you go over and paint. So the paint I have is just craft paint and then a bunch of thin brushes I have to get those points nice and sharp as possible. So all we're gonna be doing is using the red and then painting it on. Um, tips to make sure that I'm painting because I'm gonna be putting you guys on time lapse while we're doing this. Just remember, Try to keep the layers as even and smooth as possible because if you have big bumpy layers, what's going to happen is it's going to be a lot easier for them to chip off. Now, normally this won't be getting much exposure because it's going to be hidden and protected under the hood, but you might as well play it safe if you can. So go ahead and try to keep it smooth, draw that line out in pencil, and then paint over it. Just remember we will be clear coating it at the end, so it will get another protective layer. But I'm going to go ahead and set you guys up on time lapse. This is probably going to be a long one because there's no way to rush. You don't want to rush doing this at all, so um, I'm going to go ahead and again put you guys up on time lapse and then you will just see the whole process take place. That didn't work one bit. Yes, I have the shape. No, it look, does not look good when it pops out. This is gonna be my third try now for things that we're going to do. This is what we're gonna do for the try number three. Um, <coughs> if you couldn't tell, I'm learning this as well. So what we're gonna do to get the design we want is we're gonna spray this with a base coat. Um, I'm gonna make my base coat red, and then I'm gonna put use liner wrap over top and cut it out so that we see the red coming through a design that I want. So this is what we're gonna go ahead and do. Let's go ahead and get the surface all prepped for paint and go ahead and paint it red. All right, so I'm back and I got the valve cover all painted nice and red. It's a nice deep cherry looking red of what I'm liking. And uh, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna cover this in gloss black or satin black vinyl wrap. I'm not entirely sure yet, but it's gonna be covered in vinyl wrap no matter what. And we're gonna go ahead and cut out the background of what we want the design to be. So essentially our design is still going to be in red and we're going to cover it all in black. We're just going to have that see through so you guys can be able to get the design through. It's a little weird. I'm not entirely sure how to explain it. You put the vinyl on it and then you cut out the design. But anyway, I'm just thinking this way. I'm going to put you guys up on the tripod. I'm going to go ahead and cover this in vinyl wrap and then you guys will see me doing that and then going straight to cutting out the design. So let's go ahead and put you up and watch it happen.
So here's how it turned out. It's uh, pretty dope, actually, in my opinion, to be completely arrogant. But I'm right here, it did actually take up paint all the way back. Like, this is below even the primer. It took off the top layer of the valve cover. So, I wasn't expecting that, but once I got that off, um, everything else was fine. And honestly, it looks kind of cool. So I'm gonna leave that. Um, but yeah, that's what it comes out. The lines are pretty sharp, which is exactly what we're going for. I haven't gone back and pushed down the edges on a lot of it. So once that's done, it'll be really nice. But even the tips are really sharp, which is great. So anyway, that's, well, I'm awkward angle. That was weird. But anyway, that's really how you're gonna go ahead going about, or it's one of the ways that you're gonna go about painting your valve cover. Another way is airbrush. You can try doing paints. So I just wanna put another option out there for you guys. So anyway, that's that. I appreciate the watches, guys. This is gonna be going on the 1JZ that I'm swapping in my car right now. So if you wanna see updates and more progress on that, uh, first off, you can just follow me on Instagram, at philosopher, and I post there the most. Um, you're gonna get the most up-to-date content. But if you wanna see the actual videos of the build, um, go ahead and check out my channel, because I got a lot going on inside there with a lot of dope stuff. I don't know where that's going with this, but check out the other videos. I got the progress going on that as well as other aesthetic stuff that I'm doing to the car. Um, one last thing, um, I am a Throttle Brand Ambassador, so if you guys want to go ahead and check out their store, um, the link is down below, but it's right here um, for you as well. And if you use the code Super, which is just my username below, no spaces, um, exactly spelled like that, go in there, Throttle, um, go ahead, you guys can do that, and that would be absolutely dope. I once again lost my train of thought. I'm sorry, you guys. It's getting to that point where I'm realizing that as soon as it's done, I gotta go back to do homework and I really don't want to, so I'm kind of talking as long as I can to procrastinate as much as I can. So I should probably shut up and just get some work done. Um, go ahead and just check out the links below. Check out my channel below. Don't forget to do the usual dislike, unsubscribe, leave your hit in the comments, guys. Bye.